Hey guys, so it is the day before and I am prepping for my event on tomorrow that I am super excited. I will tell you guys all about it on the way there. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys quickly because I'm about to start blowing up balloons, what I'm going to be using to create um, these looks I'm going to be doing. So of course I have my 260s. I got the light pink, um, which are Quailatex and this is just regular pink. Then I have some 36, some 24 inch, some 18 inch, 11, 9 inch. These are all in the same brand, Sempertex. And this is the pastel matte pink. And I know you're probably looking at all of this like, what in the world is she doing all these balloons? But I always overbuy because I like to have extras for future events. That's one less um, thing for shipping that I have to pay. And then I just like to have extra just in case I need more. So yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where I am designing my way through life and inspiring you to do the same. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join the designer family. So as you guys can see, I'm in the Bentley again today. Have a balloon, some balloons to set up for one of my favorite YouTubers. So I can't wait to show you guys how it all comes out. Um, I'm not gonna say the theme or anything you guys will just see when I get there and um, babe is here he's driving me say hi hello designers so yeah so um, we're on the way there um, we are about 25 minutes out right now um, so in the back here I should have showed you guys before but I had to go drop off Dakota as always I always prep some balloons so that way I can get started immediately um, so I did blow up about six bags of balloons I want to say and then I have my ladder of course I have my I'm using both my hoop and my pipe and drape stand um, my box with heads hey guys so I just arrived for set up and uh, we already put the box with hedge wall up almost forgot to show you guys um, this is a sneak clue of what today's even is gonna be if you can kind of guess what these are comment down below if you guessed um, and then I'm trying to figure out now where we're gonna set up the hoop at, so stay tuned. And if this venue looks familiar, if you watched one of my very first vlogs when I did the christening, um, it was in this same room, which is shocking for me, but yeah, so I'll be back, guys, we're about to get started. I'll explain things to you as we go along. At this point, we already had the boxwood hedge up, which was one of the focal points in the room. And the second thing I needed to do was go ahead and get my hoop put together so that it would be ready to rock and roll once I had all the balloons prepped and ready to put on there. I also needed to figure out where I wanted to put it up in the room. As you guys can see, it's a simple process to put this hoop together. I will have it linked down below for you guys. And it was at this moment that I realized I had left part of the hoop at home. Hey guys, so what I'm about to do now is I did pre-blow some of the balloons on my hoop. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on so that I can see how many more I need. And then we're going to go from there. guys saw me I was getting prepared to add on all of the clusters that I had prepped before arrival I had about three or four bags of those balloons blown up already in quads ready to rock and roll and I realized as I was putting them on there that I definitely over blew those balloons the proper way to blow your balloons for garlands is to do what you see me doing now which is to blow them up and then you want to release some of the air from the balloons where I normally just press on the top and release some of it out that way it releases some of the air and which helps with releasing some of the tension on the balloons so that when you're manipulating them for your garlands they're not popping on you I did try to continue to use the quads that I had prepped just to see how I was gonna like it and they instantly started popping as I was um, moving them around on there they were way overfilled and I don't know why I did that that was definitely what I would quote unquote say a rookie mistake um, they one just popped behind me they were like popping like crazy guys 
So I, like I said before, I had to get to work on making new clusters and I did that. I went ahead and started adding them on so that I didn't over make them. Um, as you can see, they are definitely fitting a lot better into each other on the poles and it looks definitely way, way better than the other ones. And the balloons you see flying around are the ones that Kelvin is popping for me that were too big. And in this clip, as you can see, I did move over to the other side to start adding clusters on it. And that is because although this hoop is iron, it's not solid, like heavyweight iron. So you try to try to keep whatever you're putting on this hoop balanced. So that's why I'm working my way to keep things balanced on both sides to keep the hoop upright. Um, so that I wouldn't have any issues with it falling over or tilting or anything like that. which I just moved over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ears on. I pre-made these ears at home and I'm gonna use two 60s to attach them to the hoop. So let's go that way. And these are the 260 balloons I'm referencing in case you're not familiar with these. So what I'm about to do now is use the 260 balloons and attach the ears. If you guessed earlier and said Minnie Mouse, you are correct. And earlier I did mention to you guys that I had forgot the last piece, the clothes off the hoop at home, it fell out and I didn't realize it. So what I did was just create a garland to fit right in that gap and close it in on both ends using a 260 balloons, which is why it's just a little tad off over towards the left side. Um, but it'll look fine once I get the ears and everything put on, which you will see shortly. So that's what my first ear looks like, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one on and I'll be back once I get the second one on. Not that you guys saw how I did the first one. Bit of a struggle. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is how my Minnie Mouse came out. I hate that it's backlit from the light, um, but it came out really cute. And this is the bow I made out of two heart balloons and a gold chrome balloon. And so what I'm gonna do after I finish building the garland, cause I did already pre-prepare my clusters, is go in and cover up like the gaps where I tied the 260s to connect the ears and things like that. I'll go back in with some smaller clusters so to have an, it'll be more of an organic feel once it's all said and done. But I'll go ahead and get started on blowing up balloons for my garden. All right guys, so this is what I've been working on over here in this corner. I have my pump set up. I've been sitting on the table like I was earlier, blowing up balloons. I've started to construct my garland and I think I have enough blown up to go across the top. I'm gonna go ahead and get it attached to the top of the boxwood hedge and then work my way down with it so that I don't make it too long and then continue to build. And I'm so excited about my first Minnie Mouse hoop, guys. Comment down below, let me know what you think. It's not finished, I'm gonna fill it in more, but I'm so excited about it. Babe is not working he is on break then turned on the tv was playing pool over there on the phone y'all get him in these comments my mama would have been over here doing something Shayna would have been blowing up balloons and i'm using my regular balloon string to attach it to the backdrop So this is what I have going on as of right now. I have the base for the garland done. I have my bag here. Um, this is mostly nine inch balloons. I'm gonna cluster those up just to um, fill in the bottom and just a few spots where I have a whole lot of big ones. And then I'm gonna go in with my five and 
seven inch balloons and um, fill those in. And just to show you guys how I make my clusters, um, these are blown up in pairs. So I'm just gonna tie them together in fours. Take one end of the 260 balloon, tie it onto it. I triple, double tie it, just depends on what I'm feeling like. And then I'm gonna take another four or cluster. I could just even do two, you don't know. You could just do as many as you want. You could do two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just depends on what you feel like. And then once I have the cluster in place, all finished, time the last knot. I'm just gonna take it and we use this to fill it at the bottom where it's kind of open at. All right guys, so this is the final look for the boxwood hedge and balloon garland and I'm gonna show you the Minnie Mouse hoop in just a second. The lesson that I learned for this setup was always double check what you've packed for your event to make sure you have everything that you need. As you can see, I forgot part of my hoop and I over blew the balloons because I was not paying attention. I don't know what I was doing y'all because that is the one thing that I definitely know. But either way it goes, everything came out beautiful. I love doing these set up with me vlogs with you guys so that you can see how the process actually work on the day of. And as you can see, no matter how much skill you have, you have to make sure that you are always prepared because even though I think I'm low key a professional with balloons now, as I said earlier, I did forget a few things and messed up, but luckily I was able to bounce back and recover. And because I always over buy with balloons, I had more than enough. If there's anything that you guys would like me to start adding to my setup with me videos as far as how my process works on the day of, be sure to comment down below and let me know. This was the room that she had set up for just um, guests to have seating and some of the favors and things. I just added some balloons to the floors for her um, just to give it a little pop of color in the room. Hey guys, so I am back. Clearly we are in the Bentley again, AKA are you all? And um, we just wrapped up setting up for um, the birthday party. I didn't tell you guys who it was for earlier, but it is for Keisha Anderson. Her, um, if you guys don't follow her, you should. She she vlogs basically almost every day. But her um, twin girls are turning to one. And well, actually, I think her birthday is today, actually. And so they're having their party. And um, I did the balloons that you guys saw. Everything came out. The rest of the decor that she had came out so cute. If you want to see the rest, you have to go over to her YouTube channel and check it out. I think it is Keisha and Jeremy now. Um, so yeah, just go over there, check out, see the rest of the the decor. Y'all know that's my favorite part is the decor. Thank you guys so much for watching. And 
if you have not subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you thought about it and i will see you guys on the next vlog bye, bye.